So great duos, dude, of all time. Um, great you know. duos, like Mantle yeah. and Maris type duos. Mantle and Maris, Captain and Tennille. Captain like and Tennille. <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel. That, that's much better. Um, Ali Frazier. Ali Frazier. Sonny and Cher. Uh, so, Sonny and Cher, yeah. So you know what's interesting is – is in the case of Sonny and Cher and Captain Tennille, so two sets of duos. I mean, the guys were duds. I mean, total duds. What, what was it about the captain? And do you think that dude wore that hat at home? I mean, No doubt it about it. See, it's interesting you say that. See, I would push back and say the genius behind Captain and Tennille was the was captain. The, was the hat? The genius behind the Carpenters was the brother. The genius behind Sonny and Cher, and Cher has said this on a number of occasions, was Sonny Bono. So, uh, you know, it's, you, know, well, you the can look at it were, one of two ways. The 70s were a different time, and, and, you know, clearly pushing these talented ladies ahead of their less talented men, as far as I'm concerned, was the right thing to do. You know, what's really interesting, too, is that when you think of Captain and Tennille, you think that that was, a, that was wholesome, right? It was kind of like, you know, and, and yet... Them, right? I mean, weren't they a pop band? They had their own special. They were on Friday night. And, sure. You know, they had, everybody had a variety show in the 70s, by the way. But, but, but you know, if, if Love Will Keep Us Together is their, their number one song, their number two song was... Muskrat Love. No, no. Do That To Me One More Time. Okay. And, 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 and once is never enough with a man like you. I mean... Fantastic. Well, listen, look, we I'm can delve into those I'm, lyrics... You know, I'm well, going to Muskrat Love. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm being very. Although I don't you know, think they wrote that. I think America wrote Muskrat Love. Really? The band America. Yeah, I think so. Um, wow. Who, who, who? Yeah, I love Sister Golden Hair. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna hate me for it. You're gonna lambast me forever. But that's a great song. Venture Highway is fantastic. In Those fact, are their two songs. If I could be so myself back in the mid '70s, you're, you're, you're going yeah. down this. You're going. You're Duos. traversing yes. down this road for a reason. Where am clearly. I going? Yeah, well, uh, here's the reason. Um, Facebook and, and Apple both had massive days, massive days by any measure and massive days when you consider where they've come from. I mean, Apple, uh, Apple threw another uh, couple percent up on its, on its multiple, and at this point, is, is, it's really an extraordinary tale. And, and, and even the outperformance of the NASDAQ over the market, Apple's move, uh, it's outperformed the NASDAQ 100 and the other high-flying tech names by... 20% since June 1. But, but the Facebook move is really extraordinary. And so while, you know, people probably rather would be more inclined possibly to say that the big duo, um, if you had to pick two stocks, would be Apple and Amazon. But, you know, if, if you think about, I, I know you don't like Facebook and I know I don't like Facebook. I, I, I don't spend any time on Facebook, nor did I really ever. Um, I think if you look hard, there's a very stale entry for me somewhere. Um, which I wouldn't even know how to log on to. But, but, um, but $2.7 uh, in terms of the following. The installed base on, on Apple at this point is about $1.7 billion. They've got 555 million subs. These two companies own the world. And, yeah. and right now they own the stock market. And, and the question is, um, it, you, know, you and I who have to also talk about relative value uh, and technical factors, not just fundamentals, and talk about valuations and companies – are, are they expensive relative to themselves? And, but, but if you were advising uh, an investor on one stock to buy uh, at this point, I mean, wouldn't it have to be one of these two stocks if they were an investor and investing for the long haul? Yeah, that's an interesting point. I mean, I, I, I guess the answer would be- I don't think you be... would, but I, I, I think it's almost hard to say you couldn't recommend Apple here, even though it's had such a ridiculous run. But I understand what you're saying. I mean, their dominance is not going away anytime soon. So just for context, since, since Apple reported their quarter, which is probably what, four or five trading, I don't, I don't know how many trading sessions there have been. Yeah. Apple has added, just in terms of numbers, over $300 billion to their market cap. Dude, just so, hold the phone. Just Chuck. so we understand I mean, that, I think there are only a dozen, 15 companies in the world with that a big. market cap that large. And they've added it in four or five days. Since March low, I think, Apple has added a it's trillion scary. dollars to their market. It's a staggering number and, and good for them. And I understand it, but you know, we, we have to see, I think this, a lot of this uh, froth is predicated on the fact that they announced a four for one split. And I think, you know, I say this 
I try to say it respectfully. I think there are a lot of people that view this as sort of a buy one, get three free type of thing. <laughs> In terms of Facebook, look, and I've said this and you mentioned it, I say it all the time. There's nothing about Facebook I like other than the stock. And when you go, go back to, to June one of these outlet stores, sorry, when you go to the outlet stores and there's a buy one, get the next one at 50% off, do you fall for that? Uh, well, no is the, is the <laughs> short answer. <laughs> but you know. Do you go to outlet malls? I mean, will, will you? The, the will wood. You, I think the last one I went to is the Woodbury Commons off the New York I know State Thruway. Tap, the Tappan Z, sure. Which sure. is all sort of an outs. It's a, you know, on a lovely fall day, it's it's a wonderful thing if you're, it's if a you're nice so ride. inclined. Yeah. Okay. So you're not afraid to. You know, will you go into like Just Pants or Chess King? And no. See if typically, you, just... you know, <laughs> if I go to a place like that, it's to find. Um, I think they have like. A, I want to say there's probably an Armani or Bergamo of or a Zenia. Only Italian? You know, I'm looking only for Italian ties is really, or shirts. Is, is that, is, is, you only throw an Italian at me right now? I mean, is that, is that where you have to go? Come to mind. There's also a Levi's store there. So, I'll, you know, if I can pop, find a pair of 501, uh, G, 501 jeans that fit me, I'll grab a pair of those. Or I'll buy T-shirts at like a Hanes store or something. But I totally okay. digress. Right, Point no, is... Well, Look, I mean, despite the fact that advertisers said we're leaving that June 20, I encourage people to go back and look on June 26, stock traded down to 207. It absolutely cratered from the prior all-time high of 240, reversed that day, closed higher. And I know on the show that night across the board, we said, look, this reversal tells you all you need to know. Uh, The stock is now impervious, probably going to make a new all-time high. I didn't think it'd be here. But I thought it would rally, and that's that's the that's the world. No, that's we're totally right fair. Now. And and in terms of in terms of CEOs, and and think about this question, um, in terms of not whether you want to wear a hoodie or not, or dress in all black, but uh, the would you rather on Mark Zuckerberg versus Tim Cook, and we're talking about duos here. Um, who's the more valuable CEO here? That is a tough one. You know, I don't know if that's it's you're, you're using the right word, but the reality is Zuckerberg isn't going anywhere anytime soon because he basically no, he, owns, has a, he, he, yeah. he owns the place. So yeah. who's yeah. the more uh, embedded CEO? I guess is Zuckerberg. I don't know who the more important CEO. I mean, I think Tim. Listen, say what you want. I mean, Tim Cook has done wonderful things. Wonderful things. Uh, he tur- he turned that in from a, from a hardware company which had a, a trough multiple yep. to a to a consumer services company which is now getting the multiple that you talk about all the time. So good for him. All right, so we're getting long in the tooth here. On our way out with duos, um, question for you. Were, were Tony Orlando and Dawn, was that mm-hmm. a duo? No, the- absolutely not. <laughs> Dawn was a, Dawn were the backup singers. There were there two, were two of them, Dawns. so that would not be considered Dawns. a duo. So, no, the Smothers Brothers is a duo, uh, but not Tony like Orlando two- and Dawn what? are not. Weren't there three Smothers Brothers? No, not that I know of. I mean, there might be a third that didn't participate. But it was the Dur- Smothers during that Brothers, time, too. D- during that time, I was, uh, I was a duo with a girl named Dawn who worked at the Limited Express when I was working at the food court in the gallery. Well, can we talk about that on tomorrow's show? I'll see you then. <laughs> Later. <laughs>